Hello everyone! Today we are going to install the Excel add-in Analytics Gate 365 and work with a demonstration workbook that is included with the product. In order to do this, we open the Analytics Gate website and download the software for free. After we have completed the form, we receive an email with the two download links. We download the Excel file, open it and the installer opens. We accept the terms and conditions after reading them carefully and ignore the offline mode as we have a good internet connection. As soon as the installation is completed, we can start the demo directly from the installer. Now that Excel has opened with a new document, you can see the new Analytics Gate entry on the Excel menu bar which has been added. Below you can see different worksheets. We will switch to the worksheet Start. The table of contents you see contains the steps we will go through in this video. First we will connect to the demo server, then work with ClickSense filters and bookmarks. Next we will show you how to create an ad hoc table using click objects, explain how cell related values work and finally create a sample report. Everything we are going to show you today is described in detail in the how-to worksheet. You can either print this out or copy it into a new Excel document. You can also just switch back and forth between the worksheets. To begin, we switch to the worksheet table demo. In order to receive data from the Click Demo server, we first have to connect to it. To do this, we click on Analytics Gate in the menu bar, then open the drop down menu in the top left, select the Analytics Gate demo server, and click on Sign In. With the registration, we authenticate ourselves to the Click system. This process ensures that the user authorizations defined in Click are also fully applied when connecting via Excel. The great thing about the live connection to ClickSense is that all users always work with the same up-to-date data, which we often refer to as the single point of truth. Now the ClickSense hub with our demo app Executive Dashboard opens in the new user interface. By opening the app, all cell-specific data in the table refreshes automatically. If this did not happen automatically, you can update the data manually by clicking the Load Data button on the ribbon and selecting Refresh Formulas. After we've connected to the demo server and opened the data app, we will show you how to work with ClickSense filters. If we click on Bookmarks above, a panel opens on the right that shows us two safe bookmarks that have already been created in Click. As you probably are already aware, a bookmark in ClickSense is a collection of filter values. We select the first one and see that the table values change. You can define your own bookmarks at any time and they will become available for reuse in your ClickSense app. Simply change your filter selections as desired, click on Add, enter a title and a description and then save by clicking the green check mark. Next we want to set more filters. For this we click on the selection tool and see that an additional toolbar is displayed which includes the filter selections that are stored in the current bookmark. If we click on a filter box we see which filter values have been selected. In this example, we see that only those sales representatives who have achieved a high margin are selected. We also see that the ClickSense green-white-grey filter logic is also available directly inside of Excel. So if you are interpreting data, you can switch from your Click dashboard to an Excel analysis at any time and vice versa. As you can see, Analytics Gate provides the best of both worlds from both ClickSense and Excel. We now want to set another filter. This time we will click on this symbol on the far right of the toolbar which activates the filter list boxes interface identical to what you see when pressing the selections button inside of ClickSense itself. Using the search bar we find the dimension we need and simply click on it to add it to the existing selections. After we've confirmed the new filter selections with a check mark all data elements connected to and derived from ClickSense will update to reflect the filter selections. Next we will show you how you can quickly and easily import data from an already defined Click Data table, as well as how to import data using an ad hoc selection directly from fields in your ClickSense field model, 
as well as any master items which have been defined. For this we use an empty sheet named here your own playground and then click on click data to excel. You can see a property panel has opened on the right side of the screen where you have the ability to import the data from an existing click data object by using the drop down selections to choose first the chart type, in this case table and then AR measures versus sales which can be selected from a dynamically generated list of all table objects within your app. This allows full reuse of the logic, sometimes very complex, used to create column definitions within existing tables in your application. This saves us a lot of time. We press confirm and see that we were able to create a new spreadsheet in Excel. Existing data schemas from ClickSense can also be easily supplemented in Excel. To show you how it's done, we will add the column region to the table. We click on add column, select dimension, and use the search bar again to find our dimension region, which we then add. We also want to use region as the first column of our table, so just like in ClickSense, we simply drag and drop the object to the desired location. After confirming our change by clicking the green check button, the table is updated and as you can see, region is now the first column. You can also add a new column to a table at any time and not only that, it is not required that the data comes from ClickSense. You can use standard Excel formula or table syntax and can also refer to click source data to create a derived calculation. To demonstrate this, we create a forecast in column G. We enter a formula in one cell and transfer it automatically to the entire column. Again, here we see the best of both worlds in action. Analytics Gate extends the table in Excel by a new column without us having to adjust the data model. If we change the column label in either the table heading or in the property panel, this change will be updated in both locations. Next we can set the column formatting via the panel. As an example we go to the column forecast and click on select format. We want to switch to the number format currency. Select Euro, click the OK button, confirm by pressing the green check button and see how the table updates as desired. This format will now be saved with a column definition and will not have to be reset when data is refreshed. For our next example we go back to the table demo worksheet. We now want to show you how you can use formulas within discrete cells to calculate values directly from the click data model. This can be especially useful when creating fixed format reports where you don't want the size and layout of your reports to change when different filters are applied. Simply click into any cell with a numerical value to activate the formula bar and you can see how the calculation is structured with each cell calculating a value using a ClickSense formula. Simply enter the click formula once in the previously manually updated cells and the cells will update automatically with each change in the backend data. We can also use click formulas in Excel relative cell references and fill across capabilities together to make development efforts a breeze. By the way, advanced ClickSense formula syntax can quickly be learned with the help of examples available in our knowledge base. Finally, we want to generate a sample report to show that report automation is also possible with Analytics Gate. For this, we go to the item Report Preview and then click on Sample Report. The format is set to PDF by default and is displayed directly in your PDF program. Any report created with Analytics Gate 365 can also look like this. In addition, you can automatically send customized versions of any report to recipients by email, the ClickSense Hub, or a folder location. Your report distribution strategies, recipients and frequency are all configured using the Analytics Gate Management Console. As with all aspects of our product line, all user authorizations and security rules defined in Click also apply here. If you have any questions about the software, please reach out to our team, the online community or review our extensive knowledge base. You can find contact information and links within the demo Excel workbook as well as the Analytics Gate ribbon under Help. You can also click Help and then Support which will open an email address to our support team with your environment information and give you the opportunity to ask a question or describe your issue. 
Thank you again for your interest in Analytics Gate 365. Feel free to contact us at any time.